Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reorganising my bookcases while I tell you about my most anticipated read. So I've just moved house for the third time this year and I've finally got a room that's going to be completely dedicated to my books and to filming. So I am absolutely over the moon. However, it means it's going to take quite a bit of setting up. So I've done the main job and actually built the bookshelves already, which took me way longer than I care to admit. So now the next job is popping the books on the bookshelves before I can decorate the rest of the room. So I'm going to take you along with me and show you some of my most anticipated reads and also some of my favourite reads while we're popping the books on shelves. So this is what we're working with. I've got two Billy bookcases from Ikea. I'm hoping to get a third just to fill out this space here a little more. And then here are all the books that need to be reshelved, including this, what's in this blue box here. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is arrange these books into red and not red because I like to separate them on my bookshelf. It's probably a really unpopular opinion, but I always have a separate area for books that I've read and books that are on my TBR instead of just kind of mixing them in. I would literally just never be able to locate a book if I didn't do that. And then after that, we're going to colour coordinate them, which is probably another unpopular opinion of how to organise your bookshelves, but that's just how I prefer it. That's just how it makes me happy. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to lie. This does feel a little bit overwhelming. Now I've got everything out. Um, but let's just go, okay? Okay, okay, okay. And did think ahead a little bit and tried to keep some of the colour coordination together, but they just ended up falling apart. Hee <laughs> look at this nice red stack of books I've already read. Ah, uh, red books I've read. Check out my copy of The Silent Patient, my one and only. I've had it that long and made that many videos with it that the cover's literally bent at the back and um, I may or may not have got myself another copy. <laughs> I don't know why. This has definitely not been read. Are you kidding? I will get around to it, I've just bought it, but this is one I'm gonna read like immediately. I'm so excited to read this. Definitely read. If you haven't read this, read this. More pinks. White that I have read. Yep, they're red. Belladonna. Oh my god, read this if you haven't already. Red. 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 <laughs> As a thriller girly, not many like romp, just standard rom coms ever get my attention. But if you haven't read Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, just read it, honestly. This was just so cute. Now, I might reread this over Christmas because it's a very like feel good. I actually read Normal People years ago before I was like really into reading and I didn't like it then and I don't like it now. I haven't read this. I haven't read either of these. Okay, so I had to show that off or I literally would have been there all day telling you which books I had or hadn't read. So we've made some progress. I separated everything. This is books I haven't read up to here. And then these are all the books I have read and I've managed to colour coordinate them ish as we go. Okay, so I'm thinking TBR on this shelf and have read on this shelf because then when I'm walking I can see all the books that I've read. So these books here are supposed to be like the white ones to start off the like rainbow as it were. But since they're not all properly white, it really bothers me. That didn't actually take too long. So we've got this entire bookshelf of all the books I've read completely done. Also on my travels, I found the cutest little um, coaster <laughs> that my friend Sammy got me that I completely forgot I had. So that is definitely going up later. Okay, so now for the real reason you came here, I'm gonna tell you guys my most anticipated read out of my entire TBR shelf that I'm about to fill. This book has been on my TBR for the longest time, but has been really highly recommended. So that's definitely one of the ones that I'm gonna to get to next. Guys, I've got so many um, white, pink and red books. I don't think they're all gonna fit on, top, on the top shelf, but we're gonna give it a go. All of these, I've never read this series. Everyone recommends it, but 
just not, I just don't think I'm a romance girly. Honestly, don't think I'll get to that anytime soon. However, I do have Ali Hazelwood's newest book, Checkmate, which I will definitely get to soon. I love Ali Hazelwood. I also have the Magnolia Park series, which I never touched. Okay, so I recently bought the Actar series. I'm really nervous to read this. I'm not a romance girly. I'm occasionally a fantasy girly, but not to the extent of a lot of people are. I am just a thriller girly through and through. But I feel like when something's as big as Akatar, I don't know, I have, you have to read it at some point. So I bought that the other day. Okay, they did kind of fit, let me show you. There's not as many that I thought. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we can see the rest of the real shells. The red comes orange. Also, is there any need for a box to be this long? Do we see that? I am not a fan of this. How annoying. Also, yeah, can someone tell me whether the rest of the Caraval series is actually worth reading or not? Because I like the first book, but I only gave it a 3.5 and I have the next two books, obviously, but I'm just, I'm not reaching for them. So I need to know whether I'm going to be like enthralled or it's going to be like a, mm, probably don't bother. This will definitely, definitely be on my immediate read. I've had this on my list to read for so long. I'm a massive Claire McIntosh fan. I managed to pick this from a charity shop for a pound or one pound from, from Oxfam, obviously. They're the best charity shop for books, like hands down. This is my blue stack of books that I've not read. It's getting a little bit out of control now. When we moved house and my boyfriend had to personally hand deliver all these books to this room for me. He also said that. It is like, everyone's talking about it right now, but I actually managed to get an advanced copy of it. I don't know if you can see that. This new camera's not very good at showing you things I wanna show you. Okay, anyway, it's back the halls and it says October 23 on the side. And I did get this in October, <laughs> but I haven't read it. But I will. I will, I read it at Christmas. Can't really read a Christmas book in October. I realise my love for you was strong. Oh guys, I can't wait to read this. Right, John Mars absolutely looks after me. Like, I don't know why I get so lucky. He sent me this book, okay, signed, like, Thank you. As well as the one, and also then he sent me his newest book, uh, The Stranger in Her House, which was an advanced copy, and he also signed that, like, my entire collection is going to be signed at this rate. He's incredible. He's amazing. I cannot wait to read this. I'm currently reading Lock Every Door by Riley Sage, but I think this is going to be my next read. I just don't know what to do with this. I don't like it. <gasps> and then again, all these black books. Do you know what? I actually just think it's because I'm a thriller reader. All the books that I buy all have darker spines. Kind of makes sense. Kind of annoying. Oh my gosh, I've been dying to read this one. I was actually gonna show you this, The Naturals. It's written by the same author as the Inheritance Game series, which I absolutely loved and it wasn't even really a thriller. It was more like a mystery. But I've told this is like a cross between that and like um, CSI. And it's a series as well. So if you like it, then even better because there's like way more books you can read. Oh my God, guys, I actually snapped my arm trying to pick this up to show you. This is all the hardbacks that I've not read. Oh my God, it's gonna be hard to put down. Ah, okay, Throne of the Fallen. Absolutely beautiful cover. Cannot wait to read it. And is a spin-off from the Kingdom of the Wicked series, which I'm halfway through and really, really liked. Just for the last 10 minutes, unraveling these fairy lights. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on now, or attempt to. That was easier than I thought. So there we have it, my brand new bookshelves all put together. I'm so, so happy. And also there's like space for more in these areas. So it gives me an excuse to buy more books as well. So the vision for the room is to have my bookshelves here. And then over this side of the room, there's just like, 
oh a massive space basically so i'm looking to get like an armchair and just like a nice reading area space as well and then i can just admire my books as i do it thank you so much for setting up my new bookshelves with me i hope you've got some good recommendations from that as well from things i have read and have told about in the video or things that are on my most anticipated tbr as well and thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe